Uh, welcome everyone. Today we are solving problem 7.46 from Sadiqo book. Uh, I'm starting from 7.46 due to there are a lot of resources for 7.41 from from 7.41 to 7.01 to 7.45. Um, but more of most of the creators or most of the teachers haven't solved from 7.46 to 7.65. So I'll try to cover these 20 problems. So in this problem. It is 7.46. It says uh, circuit is given and the value of I s equals to 5 U T. U T is in singularity form. So they are asking us from uh, find V T, right? All right. So let's solve this out. In this problem, before heading to the problem, we know as singularity function or step up response, we have U T equals to zero when it will be T is less than zero and one when it will be T is greater than zero, right? We know this from singularity functions or unit step up functions. So, in this, if we calculate the whole function for t is less than zero, for t is less than zero, the value of ut will be what? For t is less than zero, the value of ut will be zero, right? If the ut is zero, what will be the current source? Zero. Five into zero equals to zero. So, if the current in the whole circuit is zero, then what will be the value of voltage? Obviously, it will be also zero. There are no current source, so there will be no voltage. So, if the current I s equals to zero, then V not also will be zero. V not will be also zero, right? Okay. For T is greater than zero. For T is greater than zero, what is the value of U not? Obviously one. So, what will be the current value? I s equals to five into one, right? So, five into one equals to what? Five ampere. So now I s equals to five ampere. So now let's look at this. If U T goes to one, okay, the current is five ampere. So the whole circuit will be in steady state mode, right? And what we know in steady state mode, we can replace capacitor as open circuit and inductor as short circuit. So if we replace these two terminals as open circuit, is there will be any current flowing in two ohm? Is there will be any current in two ohm? Obviously not. So the whole current will be passed through this terminal, this terminal, and then come up through this terminal and this terminal, and it will be a loop, right? So there will be no current flow in two ohm, right? So the voltage drop in this V terminal is equals to this terminal's voltage, right? The voltage across six ohm is equals to the voltage across capacitor, right? Because there are no current flow in this two ohm, right? So we can cross it out. So there will be no current flow in two ohm. And the voltage across this capacitor is equals to the voltage across six ohm resistance. So the voltage across six ohm resistance is, let's say, V. So what will be the V? It will be V infinity right now. So V infinity equals to what? Six into I S. The total current also passing through the six ohm. So six I S, right? So it will be six into five equals to thirty, and of thirty volt, right? Okay. So we know all the things. Just we know. Just we have to calculate tau right now. So tau equals to what? Tau equals to we know for capacitor it is RC due to it is RC circuit and for inductor it is or for uh, RL circuit it will be L by R. So it is RC circuit. So tau will be as equals to RC. So R equals to R TH. But thevenin R thevenin. So R thevenin equals to what? For these two terminal, two and six are in what series? Right, uh, left of this. So, for this terminal, two and six are in series. So that voltage will be, sorry, uh, the uh, the equivalent resistance will be eight into the capacitance voltage. What equals to zero point two five? Zero point two five equals to what? Equals to it is uh, two I guess. Okay, two seconds. So the equation will be for we know the voltage equation will be V T equals to V infinity plus V naught. Minus V infinity, uh, V infinity, e to the power minus T by tau, right? The equation will be V T goes to V infinity plus V naught minus V infinity e to the power minus T by tau. So what is the value of V infinity? The V infinity value equals to thirty. So thirty, it will be zero. So we end writing this thirty e to the power minus T by two, right? This volt. So this is the answer for. So, uh, problem number seven point four six. So let's head into the problem seven point four seven. 
what is the problem says the problem says determine the voltage vt4 t is greater than 0 and if v0 equals to 0 right okay so for this problem we have to have some basic knowledge about singularity functions here we can see there are two current sources which both of them are given in singularity form right there are two current source and both of them are given in singularity form one is 3u t minus 1 and one is 3ut right okay so as from singularity functions we know as from singularity functions we know let's solve this as from singularity function ut equals to 0 for what t is less than 0 1 for t is greater than 0 right so if the value is u t minus 1 so it does mean that the value is equals to t equals to 1 then uh, if the t, uh, if the value of uh, u equals ut equals to 1 then these current source will be applied because t minus 1 equals to 0 so t equals to 1 right if the value is t equals to 1 or t is greater than 1 then this current source will be applied so for this circuit if the limit is in negative infinity to t to 0 both of the current sources are off both off of both if the range is in uh, 0 to t to 1 then what will be the open this will be open right 0 to 1 this will be open but this will be remains off so 3 ut open or on and 3 u t minus 1 will be off right for t is greater than 1 sorry t is greater than 1 both both will be on right we have to learn this or we have to note this out for negative infinity to t to 0 oh both of them are off uh, 0 to t to 1 3 u t will be open 3 u t minus 1 will be off right so for this if we calculate t is less than 0 for t is less than 0 okay for t is less than 0 for t is less than 0 what will be the voltage for t is less than 0 it will be 0 for t is less than 0 uh, it will be 0 it will be 0 so whole circuit will be as remains v0 equals to 0 right okay now let's jump into the next range 0 to t to 1 so for 0 it also given so we don't have to need to calculate this out all right so for 0 to t to 1 for this range what will be the on 3 ut will be open and 3 ut minus 1 is off right so this current source will be opened and this will be off so let's just uh, calculate this out with source transformation if this is 3 3 into 1 which is ultimately 3 ampere so if we uh, merge up the both of them it will be it will be and minus plus because the arrow is in the downstairs so it will be 24 volt and here we have a resistance which will be 2 ohms and uh, let's just mark them up so the circuit will be something looking like this right so here the v infinity will be what v infinity will be as as same as this voltage 24 volt so v infinity will be 24 volt and for this let's calculate the tau the tau will be what tau will be 2 ohms no no my bad uh, it is 2 ohm right it is what 8 ohm okay so for this tau will be 8 ohm so in this both what will be the rth tau equals to rth into c for this both rth equals to what 8 and 2 are in series right series 8 and 2 for these two terminals 8 and 2 are in series so it will be 2 plus 8 into c what is the value of uh, capacitance 0 0.1 so it will be 0 0.1 so which will be ultimately 1 so 1 second right there the unit for uh, time constant is second so we have all the information so it will be v t equals to v infinity plus v0 minus v infinity and it will be e to the power minus t by tau right so what will be the value of v0 so v0 is equals to 0 so it will be 0 so this value will be chobbish or 24 minus 24 e to the power minus t by 1 right so it will be, it will be chobbish minus chobbish e to the power minus t 
चौबीस माइनस चौबीस टू दावर माइनस टी एट मी जस्ट क्विकली दी चेक दिस वेदर इट इज ट्रू और नॉट यस इट इज ट्रू ओके दिस मच वॉट इट इज द आंसर ना वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट रेंज राइट फॉर दिस नेक्स्ट रेंज ना वी हैव टू थिंक समथिंग क्रिटिकल फॉर दिस रेंज वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ इफ वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द वोल्टेज वी इन्फिनिटी वॉट विल बी द वैल्यू ऑफ वी जीरो फॉर दिस रेंज V0 is initial voltage, right? For this range, what will be the initial voltage? The voltage of this, right? For this voltage or for this range, the voltage, initial voltage will be, or V0 will be from this voltage, right? So if we implement V1, it will be V0 for this range, right? So if we calculate V1, it will be 40, 24 minus 24 e to the power minus 1. Let me just calculate this out. 24. Minus 24 e to the power minus 1. 24 minus 24 e to the power minus uh, 1 equals to 15.17. 15.17 volt. Right. This value will be used as as V0 in the circuit. Right. So we have V1 and let's calculate V infinity for this. So V infinity for this. Now both of them are on. This three U T also on. This three U minus T also on. So the circuit will be. Let's just quickly uh, source source transform these both of them. So these both and these both. So it will be. Uh, let's just see. It will be zero point one my Faraday, and it will be mi minus plus twenty four minus plus twenty four, and this will be. If if we mass them up, it will be three and it will be two. So it will be six. So it will be plus minus six volt. Right. Here we have resistance. We, we if we are calculating V infinity, we don't need to calculate the resistance. So it will be V infinity. Then let's just calculate this out. So let's just apply a KVL. So the KVL will be voltage across these two terminals are V. So it will be apply KVL as we KVL apply. Then it will be minus six plus V infinity minus twenty four equals to zero. So what will be the value of V infinity? It will be thirty equals to thirty, right? And let's calculate the tau. For this tau, the equivalent voltage will be two and eight again, two plus eight. So we we do not need to calculate tau as we as already calculated the tau in where here. So we don't need to calculate the tau. So the equation will be for now V infinity, so V T equals to V infinity plus V zero. Now what is the value of V zero? It will be V one as I mentioned earlier. So this will be V one minus V infinity. e to the power minus t by minus t minus 1 why 1 because we are calculating this whole for t t is greater than 1 range so it will be minus t minus 1 as singularity properties so it will be what is the value of v infinity the value of v infinity goes to 30 plus 15.17 minus 30 e to the power minus t minus 1 let me just calculate this out what will be the value Uh, okay, the value will be. Let's just calculate the answer here. So it will be. Let's just calculate the answer here. The answer will be V T goes to thirty minus fourteen point eight three e to the power minus t minus one. So this is the answer for our problem number four point sorry seven point four seven. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.